Hello viewers, this is Ajahorafi once again. Welcome to this new video where I'm going to show you how to create a sign up form with MailChimp and how to place the form into your website. And I'll also show you how to create a pop up form and integrate it with your website as well. So, first of all, visit MailChimp.com and then click on login and put your account information and then click on login. So here we have two options to go for a uh, creating sign up form. We can click on campaigns and we we'll, uh, we can also use this button directly from uh, here. So I'm going to click create button and then here we go we have got the option to go for sign up form. So I'm going to click on sign up form. Here we have got three options embedded form which will be added here on the side ver. Okay, so we are going to put the form here and we have got pop-up form which will be appeared when someone visit our website and here we have got another option sign up landing page so we will work on this option later on another video so i am moving forward with embedded form first of all so here we have to select the list so as we have got only one list it's by default is selected so select and then click on begin and here by default we'll have a form already created here so here we have got a very basic form with subscribe in header uh, placed and then email address and first name and email address is required as a required field so we want to make change here subscribe to get regular updates from actual Rafi. this is my branding <laughs> all right okay so i want to add another field here so to do this or to add or delete any field from our form we just have to click here on the form builder all right so here are the options add a field we can add a text field here or number radio buttons checkbox and other options as you as you can see so i want to add a field uh, for last name so i'm going to click on text and here we go it's added so i want to name it as last name so here is the field last name all right and then let's put it visible and all of the all the settings are uh, fine to keep as it is so click on save field all right so now we if you if we want to design the template then we have the option here design we can change the background we can change the header informations we can add an image instead or other information we can colorize them outer wrapper okay so as you can see these fields will be changed so here they here are the options edit remove use image so now translate it i don't want to translate so here body forms monkey rewards and other informations we can make the adjustments as we want all right so now i'm moving back to see how the form is going to look like so just copy this link or url and paste it here paste and go and here is the form that will be added in this field so it is looking like uh, a bit bigger but it's all right we it will be uh, placed here nicely as it is mobile responsive or responsive uh, form all right so let's proceed with adding the form so Here is the form that we have designed and we just need to copy paste this code into our website so let's proceed let's copy this full uh, codes and then go to your dashboard or wordpress website dashboard or any other website dashboard and then go to appearances and select widgets and we want to put the um, form into the right side verse so 
we have to select this one default sidebar which is right okay and then we have to find out here custom HTML okay just click and drag it through this part and leave and then we have to paste the code that we have copied so I'm going to click on paste and click on save and it's saved click on done let's just reload this page here we go we have got the form that is just added and as I have mentioned oh, so one settings is missing we should have something written here so if we just make change in our MailChimp it will be automatically updated I believe so let's make a change subscribe to get latest updates okay and let's see where you can see okay let's just reload this page up so I may have to change it again so this is delayed again custom HTML put it here and copy the code from here paste V done reload this page and here we go subscribe to get latest updates from a geography all right so here by default uh, the required field is email address so if someone just put the email address then they will be able to subscribe instead uh, without putting the first name and last name but it's always good to have them as well so we can make change here to make the first name field required as well all right so let's just move forward with learning the process of getting a sign up form uh, sign up pop-up form okay and to do this we have to go here and click on sign up forms and then we have here subscriber pop-up click on select and let's see so here we have got a place to add an image and we have got a place here uh, to change this part uh, fields for email address so we want first name as well so let's pick it as it is and then we don't want the first name required but if we want to make it required then we can always turn it uh, keep it on so I am just keeping it off content should be here we can put uh, subscribe to learn data entry or email marketing and we can add an image here with the size of 490 into 200 so I don't have an image but let's see what we can do let's just put this image and let's see how it fits okay so we can always edit all right so let's just keep it as it is and let's see how it fits okay so learn MailChimp tutorial and here subscribe to learn email marketing and email address here is the fields first name and subscribe so this is our form and it will be look like here on mobile device like this it's getting a bit cut off as we don't have the required image size so I suggest you to use 490 into 200 pixels of image in this place so it will be look better and it will fit good okay so as it is a tutorial purpose I'm just keeping it as it is and now it's time to click on generate code or oh, actually we have something else to do so here pop-up setting we have to click on uh, setup okay for example if this form is going to appear immediately whenever a visitor is uh, coming into our website then we have to put the immediately which is a bad option I believe so we can choose after five seconds or maybe scroll to middle of page or on exit on exit okay so I basically use this part on exit or maybe after five seconds so for this tutorial purpose I'm going to select for after five seconds and the image 
alignment as you can see it's on top let's go to desktop version but if we just click on right then the image will be aligned in right okay and if we put it left this this will be aligned in left but we want it on top all right so here are the other options that we can change we can add more fields if we want or actually we are not going to be able to add more fields here we can uh, just put first name and last name fields okay and then here's the content we can select and change other information for example here on footer uh thanks for your subscribing okay thank you for your subscribing so whenever some someone subscribe they will see this message okay so now it's time to click on generate code and here is the code i have to copy this code copy and move back to your wordpress website dashboard and click on appearance then go to theme editor and then we have to find out footer.psp here theme footer click on it and then we have to put the code just before the body tag okay so i'm giving it a little space to uh, be we'll be able to read this part if we want to make any change later okay so here's the script and now click on update file file edited successfully and if we just reload this page i believe we'll be able to see a pop-up form after five seconds yes here it is learn mailchimp email marketing okay so this is how you have to add a pop-up form into your website and how to embed a form here on the sidebar on your website and you can customize it as you want so i hope this video was helpful if you want to learn more about email marketing or actually mailchimp email marketing the full tutorial then please don't forget to follow this playlist from my channel as you can see ultra rafi this is the playlist email marketing tutorial step by step full tutorial series please follow this uh, follow those videos and subscribe to my channel to get latest updates from me and if you have got any question please let me know by commenting below and share this video to help others as well i hope to see you in the next video thank you very much for watching